Child TikToker Ren Eleanor grew to fame on social media in a very short span of time, and unfortunately, it's not just because fans adore the three-year-old's content. Recent Reddit posts allege that Ren's mother is posting inappropriate content about the child for adult viewers. Followers have been claiming that the child is in danger for so long. Ren Eleanor's mother Jacqueline just ignores everything. However, today she finally apologised, but it wasn't really an apology per se. She just asked people to stop mum shaming her. First of all, she'd taken to TikTok and had said the following. The past few months have been incredibly distressing and I've learned a lot. What started out as a hobby to make a digital scrapbook for my daughter, Ren, grew into an interesting role for me as a single stay-at-home mom. Ren is my number one priority and her upbringing and safety are my top job 24 hours a day. This account has allowed me to provide for my daughter and to set aside money for her future. I'm not sure how this conspiracy theory got started and spiraled out of control. What you need to know is that no law enforcement agencies I conferred with, including the FBI, have found any proof that my daughter's likeness appears on inappropriate websites. These rumors are 100% false. Now, the most liked comments all over her apology video, if you will, are calling Jacqueline out for being ignorant and continuing posting videos of her daughter pretending like nothing weird is happening. If anyone has real tangible proof, please contact me immediately. My email appears within my TikTok profile. What is true, Ren is a happy, healthy three-year-old. The videos we film together from my account a couple of hours a week are fun and lighthearted. TikTok analytics show that my followers are 76.8% female. That's more than 13 million females, including lots of moms. It's not the gender that's the issue though, is it? It's the fact that millions of scary people are posting weird, disturbing comments and are also saving these videos. And I thank you for watching and for your interest in my family. What baffles me is that rumor spreaders express such passionate concern for my daughter, yet law enforcement has found zero real proof about these untrue allegations. Creating videos talking about scurrilous rumors that my three-year-old daughter appears on isn't proof. Repeating false information over and over will never convert into fact. Doing so is wrongfully smearing my daughter's name and unjustly damaging my reputation. What I've learned from this ordeal, I realize I should have spent more time reading the community's comments. With millions of followers, this is no easy task. If these false rumors have prompted parents to rethink how they let their kids be involved in social media, that is a good thing. If it's such a good thing that she's saying, oh, I'm glad I could help prevent other parents from posting videos of their kids online, then why is she still posting more videos? Honor and act upon your personal decisions, but please do not mom shame me because we have different parenting styles. I look forward to making more videos with my daughter and I am committed to making changes when I turn my account comments back on. I will filter them to remove offensive comments and report and block accounts as necessary. Online safety precautions that will remain in effect include disabling the ability to download or duet our videos. But even so, people can still screen record and still see the videos that she's posting. Stopping is a job for law enforcement. The TikTok community, including parents, can play an active role in this effort by forwarding real evidence to help the authorities catch the creeps. Let me say it again. If you have real evidence, please contact me. I would do the same for your child. Thanks for listening, and you can read the full version of my statement on my Instagram account, TikTok Ren. The link is in my bio. Yikes. So Jacqueline then posted a huge statement to her Instagram. She'd said, the past few months have been incredibly distressing and I've learned a lot. What started out as a fun hobby to make a digital scrapbook for my daughter Ren gradually grew into an interesting role for the single stay-at-home mom. Ren is my number one priority and her upbringing and safety are my top job 24 hours a day. As a busy mom who never set out to become a TikToker with 17 million followers, I now realise I should have spent more time reading the comments, which is not so easy with a big audience. I'm not sure how this conspiracy theory got started. Nobody has presented any real evidence and no law enforcement agency I've conferred with has found any proof that my daughter's likeness appears on inappropriate websites either. These rumours are 100% false. What is true? Ren is a happy, healthy three-year-old and has fun joining in when we make our TikTok videos for my account. The videos we film together a couple of hours a week are fun and lighthearted. I'm always with her, sometimes on screen or off, and 
holding the camera as she laughs and giggles opening boxes, trying new foods, or playing outside. Online safety precautions I've taken include turning off the ability to download or duet our videos. My TikTok analytics show that my account followers are 76.8% female. That's more than 13 million females, including lots of moms, and I'm grateful for their interest and support. In addition to preserving precious memories, this account has allowed me to raise and provide for my daughter as a stay-at-home mom, along with being able to set aside money for Ren and her future. What also motivates me to keep posting our family videos are the positive comments from the community who say that Ren's personality brings joy to their day and reminds them of their kids who are all now grown up. I do understand that there are individuals out there with twisted minds and online that children. Never ever did I think that a child eating her first corn dog at the county fair would be interpreted as behaviour. As false rumours bubbled up in May, a concerned family member reached out to the National Centre for Missing and Expected Children. In June, I contacted the FBI to discuss these false claims. The FBI then informed me that no images of my daughter have been found on any inappropriate sites. What baffles me is that these rumour spreaders are online expressing such concern for my daughter, yet not one person has presented real tangible proof that these allegations are true. Creating videos talking about scurrilous rumours that my three-year-old daughter appears on sites isn't proof. Repeating false information over and over will never convert into fact, and it's wrongfully smearing my daughter's name and unjustly damaging my reputation. My email address is displayed in my TikTok profile, at Ren Eleanor. If there is real factual proof out there, please contact me immediately. This ugly situation is a good reminder that you should not believe everything you read on the internet. Well-intentioned people took the time to read chat boards and watch TikTok videos fueled by false rumours, and unfortunately assumed it was factual. Conversely, recent reports conducted by legitimate news organisations, clearly and accurately stated in the articles, no evidence of wrongdoing has been found. What I've learned from this ordeal, I am a determined single working mother, doing my very best to raise Ren. If these false rumours have prompted parents to rethink how they let their kids be involved in social media, that is a good thing. Honour and act upon your personal decisions, but please do not mum show me because we have different parenting styles. My daughter will continue to wear stylish clothes from the mall, wash her hair with shampoo that smells like strawberries, play with her toys, try out new foods and enjoy special trees at our annual county fair. How blessed am I, a grateful mum that doesn't face off with a picky eater at every meal. Since I first started posting my videos in 2019, they have been well received, characterised as light-hearted and innocent. Yet many months later, once the false rumours started, certain community members went back to scrutinise the videos. They found unwarranted fault in every scene, unfairly characterising activities such as eating fizzy candy, fruits and vegetables, wearing a swimsuit and playing with a water balloon as of behaviour. Perhaps it's the pickle, popsicle and corn dog. Obsessed lewd minds recirculating false accusations that are the problem. I look forward to making more fun videos of my daughter and I am committed to making changes when I turn my account comments back on. I will filter them to remove offensive comments and report and block accounts as necessary. Before you pass it on and potentially spread untrue information online, ask yourself, would you want your child to become the centre of an ugly rumour mill? Unaware of turmoil? My daughter is thankfully happy, well adjusted and doing great. Hunting, is a job for law enforcement. Parents can play an active role in this effort by forwarding facts and evidence to help the authorities catch the creeps. For those who've expressed concern for my daughter's online safety, again, if you're in possession of real evidence, please contact me. I would do the same for your child. So what are your thoughts on all this? Let me know in the comments.